There are a couple of different ways to construct a flight plan in Osronways. This video will demonstrate them all, and you can use the method that suits you best. The first method is what we call tap on map planning. I've got the aerodrome and ALA waypoints switched on, and I'm going to find my waypoint on the map and tap near it. This will open the closest points pop up, which shows the waypoints closest to where I just tapped on the map. Here I'll tap on the add to plan shortcut button, and this will set the waypoint as the starting point of our plan. Now I'll go find the next waypoint on the map, and once again tap near it, and tap the add to plan button. We've now got a plan from Aldinga to Murray Bridge, and we could continue adding waypoints in the same fashion. You'll also notice that a new button has appeared in the bottom right corner. This button will take you to the plan sheet or navigation log. The second method is to use the quick planner. Open the quick planner and start typing in a waypoint name or code. Tap on a waypoint in the suggested list, or simply press space to automatically fill the top suggestion. When you're finished adding waypoints, tap go to see your plan on the map. To add an intermediate waypoint, you can use what we call the rubber banding method. Here I'll tap and hold the magenta track line until it turns yellow, then drag my finger over to the waypoint I want to add. Take my finger off the screen, and once again the closest points pop up opens, and I can select the add to plan button. This waypoint has now been inserted in the middle of the plan. For more information, please check out the user manual or get in touch with us.